Data sources allow you to harness your subscriber data or any third-party data to build custom images that are personalized at the moment a subscriber opens your email. These can include things such as livestock prices, sports scores, betting odds, um, pull information from blog feeds or RSS feeds, um, but they can also be real-time. And to do that, you can use user variables from your email service provider to build images that are specific for each customer. So this could include things like um, a customer's purchase history, recommended products, um, live shipping information, live weather, um, booking information, client statistics, etc. Now I'm going to show you how to add a new data source. So simply click on the button, paste in the API link. Um, and in this instance, we actually are going to be pulling live stock prices. So this is a, um, an API link that will pull in the price for Twitter. I'll hit next and it'll execute the API call. And then you see we return all the information from that API call. So in this instance, I want to gather um, specific information. I want to get the last price. So once I click on that, you can see the field mapping pops up because you've identified that. You can change the type or modify the field name if you want. But I think I'm fine, so I'm just going to hit the Save button. I will name this Twitter price and hit OK. And that's it. I have a new data source that is I'm going to pull in the Twitter stock price uh, every minute. So now I'm going to apply uh, that data to an image I have. So this is a Photoshop image that I've already put into my account. I'll click on Edit and Configure Views. Here you can see the different layers of that uh, Photoshop image. So I will select Price. I will come to the value and I will click on the data source icon. Scroll down to the data source I just added and put in the field name I want, Last. You can see it updates the price instantly. I hit the Save button. I can then back out and um, hit my live preview. And this will update with Twitter stock price every minute. So now you have an image URL that you can use inside of any email service provider that will automatically update um, with the current stock price of Twitter on the image um, that you provided. Now I'm going to show you how to um, make a real-time data source. So I'm going to edit that. Um, Twitter price stock that we had. I will go to the edit button and here where I have TWTR pulling the um, price for Twitter, I'm going to use um, brackets and this lets you set a variable. So I'm going to name it symbol um, but you can set this variable so that instead of pulling Twitter it can pull a unique stock price for each of your subscribers. I will go in and run the Twitter symbol as a uh, example request and in this instance, I already have last price, but I'm gonna go ahead and add the name. So I can come up and see that that's been saved now in my field mappings, so I can hit save. Uh, that's all you need to do, and you now have a real-time data source. Applying this to an image, um, you just take the same steps. So I'll go to an image I have, I will click on configure views, and I can see the different Photoshop layers. So the first one's name, I will instead change this to the name. I will then go to the price layer. And here I will collect the last price. Simply hit the Save button. Um, I can back out and go to Live Preview where I can um, paste in any uh, stock symbol. We're going to hit that API and pull in the real-time pricing for it. So in order to use this in your email campaigns, you would just need to have a variable that will show the unique symbol for each customer. And in the image tag, you can see that we have symbol, which we put in our brackets, and there is the VAR1, which you would replace with the merge tag um, from your ESP. Now keep in mind that we can pull over multiple um, piece of information from your API data sources. So here we have an example. Um, we're taking in the book cover, the title, the author, and the price that is updated um, each time you put in a new value. So we hope you like uh, what you've seen today. If you have any questions, um, please email us at support at niftyimages.com and we'd love to help you. Thank you.